The PowerShot G9 from Canon is a trash camera by today's standards, but recently I tried experimenting with the JPEG picture profile settings to get a Fujifilm aesthetic straight out of camera, and long story short, it worked. PowerShot lineup of compact cameras from Canon are actually more of the pro end of compact cameras that Canon offer. They're not to be confused with like the Ixus lineup or their other lower consumer level models. But awkwardly, within the proness of the PowerShot lineup, they actually kind of shot themselves in the foot in terms of having more of an appeal for people who want a quick usable camera. The raw photos that you get from this 12 megapixel sensor are fantastic, which I've talked about in a video before but I wanted to see if I could get like a film simulation vibe from the custom picture profile you can bake into the JPEG. And somehow on the first attempt, I've managed to find something that I think is definitely worth trying. This is the PowerShot G9, and this is the Fujifilm X-Pro1. And this is the spectrum of film-like imagery. The Fuji lives close to film-like. While I previously thought the G9 lived way over here, over in, you know, Digicam, digital land, since experimenting with these straight out of camera JPEGs, I've discovered that the G9 actually belongs much further along this line than I first thought. I've taken the liberty of shooting a bunch of side-by-side -side shots with the G9 and my X-Pro1 using my Fuji JPEG picture profile. So I made this profile copying the settings on my X-Pro1, which I got from Fuji X Weekly, so shout out to them. It was the superior extra 400 profile. And if I don't say so myself, for a G9, I've got the picture profile pretty damn close. So a compact camera plus a Fuji aesthetic equals compact Fuji. Oh my god, I think we've done it. Ah, time to claim that Nobel Prize. I first used the RAW files from this camera, which are amazing and very flexible and you can edit them pretty much however you want. And for each of these tests, I have shot all these images in both RAW and JPEG simultaneously, so I can show you some RAW unedited files alongside the JPEG with this picture profile enabled. The RAWs out of camera are very good and very flexible from this CCD sensor, but the JPEG with this profile actually, for me, is good enough to post in some lighting situations. It doesn't shine in every lighting situation, but I think overall it is something that I would happily share alongside photos from Fuji or from film cameras. There's a lot of you right now who are probably thinking you should just shoot raw and edit the photos to look like this later, but sometimes a photo doesn't need an extra 30 minutes of editing, for example, or even five minutes. RAW is great for maintaining flexibility in your edits. However, if you're looking for pleasing images in camera, it can definitely be overkill with a simple camera like this. To me, this camera does three things. One, it's compact. Two, it's easy to use for most people. And three, it's pretty affordable. So these three things together that we have here, these kind of contradict the whole raw photo editing process in my opinion. This camera kind of encourages the idea of just pulling out some JPEGs from the SD card and chucking them into a massive Facebook photo album. So for those who just want nice shots out of camera with no editing, these settings are it. Most serious shooters would say that maintaining flexibility with RAW files is always the way to go. But to be honest, how serious of a shooter are you if you're using a 2009 compact camera? To me, today, a camera like this, for the amount of money it goes for, yeah, you can edit RAWs and stuff from it, but like, it's more of a fun camera. And I prefer having this kind of out of camera, ready to go, aesthetically pleasing JPEG, which is a subjective opinion, obviously. Having a nice JPEG out of camera just to share willy nilly is kind of what this camera feels like it was made for. While it's not a super basic compact camera, it does have the flexibility we need to treat it a bit more seriously. Manual aperture, manual shutter speed, manual ISO. So you have a nice amount of creative flexibility, but also having a nice image straight out of camera. If you're dead set on shooting raw with this camera, however, I do also have a free Fujifilm preset you can pick up from my website that will make even the raw photos out of this camera into a Fuji aesthetic or raw photos from any camera for that matter. So you can try it with your current camera and then consider it for your new compact cameras. I realize I have not given the settings yet. Get on with it. Yes, get on with it. Get on with it. So what are the settings? 
let me go in and find them for you. I essentially copied the settings from my X-Pro1 Superior Extra 400 that I got from Fuji X Weekly. Shout out to Fuji X Weekly. So the custom color I have set to contrast minus two, sharpness minus one, saturation zero, red plus one, green minus one, and blue plus two skin tone plus one and lastly the white balance i have set to cloudy so there's not many settings for us to actually change but it's a little bit of that color shift that skin tone that sharpness that contrast to be able to get us close to the superior extra 400 that i have in the x pro one and while testing these cameras side by side with these profiles to sort of balance these settings a little bit a few of these images the contrast is different a couple of them the red shift was different at one point i had the red at plus two for a while and actually once i was looking at the results in camera i thought just to reduce that a little bit the main drawback of using this camera in terms of straight out of camera jpegs is we only actually get one custom picture profile so we have other profiles like neutral and they have a positive film effect in this one but for your own custom settings you only get one and you can't change names or anything like that so it's important to make a note of different profiles you're trying so you can then refer back to them to swap between but you'll have to do it manually for each setting each time but for me i'm probably going to continue using this sort of fake superior extra 400 for the foreseeable future it's very nice looks good fits in with fuji shots fits in with film shots what's not to like this may be your first time hearing about the G9, but I've actually done a whole video talking about all the other details of this camera over here. Today, we're just talking about the straight out of camera JPEGs, but all the other details you need to know are in this video.